Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Amajal Knowles with your Sunday Sports. Well, the road to the four-peat starts now. Earlier today, the Bahamas Swimming Federation revealing the names of the male and female athletes that will compete for the 242 at the 2020 Carifta Swimming Championships in Bridgetown, Barbados. The roster for the Bahamas looks like this. In the 11 to 12 category on the girls' side, you have Tia Isabel Adderley, Mia Patton, Zedin Satling, L. Theoberg, Raven Ward, Zoe Williamson, Abayomi Brown, Maria Fox, Renishka Gibbs, Kiana Moss, Sienna Norville Smith, Mia Sastre, Caitlin Cabral, Jamila Hepburn, Rachel Lundy, Anya McPhail, Delaney Mizell, and Zaley Elizabeth Thompson. On the boys' side, we have Gerard Charles, Caleb Ferguson, Ellie Gibson, Zion Gibson, Tristan Hepburn, Asher Johnson, Donald Saunders, Caden Wells, Jack Barr, Tristan Ferguson, Nigel Forbes, Marvin Johnson, Joshua Newry, Devontae Carey, Ian Pinder, Lamar Taylor, Errol Thompson, and Mark Anthony Thompson. Now, as far as the open water team is concerned, we have Grace Farrington, Sienna Norville Smith, again, Mia Sastre, Kalia Albury, Giovanna Inez, Celine Gibson, Tristan Ferguson, Marvin Johnson, Hodari Prince, Ocean Smith, and Mark Anthony Thompson. With the team now officially named, we caught up with some of the medalists from 2019 on how they plan to continue their success in the pool in Barbados once again. Well, last year was a big year for me. It was really a very fun experience at Grifta. Uh, but now my board is white clean, so I have to go there now and focus in again to try and do my best because I know there's more competition, higher names, and I just want to go there and rep the Bahamas. Uh, hopefully I'm going to go to Carifta and... I plan to swim a lot of events, go for High Point Trophy, and get gold for the Bahamas in anything that I swim. Swimming Carifta in April, I hope that with the events I'm going to swim, I hope that I can medal in all of them. And since this is going to be my last Carifta, should I make the team, I hope to go out with a bang. I want to see if I can win High Point with everything that I May, might swim, and so I just want to make the country proud. In local basketball news, over at the Donald Davis Gymnasium last night, the New Providence Women's Basketball Association hosting its All-Star Night that highlighted some of the best players in the league as two teams, captained by Leisha Grant and Brittany Harrison, capped off the night of festivities, including a three-point competition and skills challenge. As for the game itself, this one would be back and forth and go down to the wire and see the East All-Stars cap Captain by Grant escaped with a 56-53 win. Uh, it was a fun game. We started off flat, but we pulled out in the end. Uh, we was up to pretty much the whole game. We kind of played a little bit too much at the, in the fourth quarter. But they came out, they made down, they knocked down shots and came out with the win. From the association, Buddy Heald with another big night to help the Kings secure a W to help keep their flailing playoff hopes alive. Heal contributing 22 points, going 8 of 14 from the field and 6 of 9 from 3, along with 3 rebounds and 3 assists across 26 minutes of play in Saturday's 123-111 win over the Portland Trailblazers. Although Heal has been relegated to a bench role in recent weeks, he remains one of the best 3-point shooters in the league and helped the Kings tie a team single-game record for 3-pointers in the win. The Kings have 19 games left in the season, are currently only four games back of the Grizzlies for that eighth and final spot in the Western Conference. Next up on the Kings schedule, however, is a matchup later tonight with one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference, the Toronto Raptors. In college basketball news, a career night for Bahim and Kai Jones last night, albeit in a losing effort. The freshman forward posting a career-high 20 points and grabbed seven rebounds, however, his Texas Longhorns would be steamrolled on senior night by the Oklahoma State Cowboys, 81-59. to The Texas Longhorns started the day with an opportunity to claim sole possession of the third seed in the upcoming Big 12 tournament. The Texas Tech Red Raiders were tied with Texas before falling to Kansas 66-62. The first half was not kind to Texas at all as they shot just 25% from the field, including 2 of 15 from beyond the arc. According to ESPN, Texas' chance of making the NCAA tournament went from 89% to 53% with the loss. The loss now brings Texas's record to 19 and 12, 9 and 9 in the Big 12 with the tremendous amount of uncertainty still remaining. The Longhorns will now likely need a strong showing in the tournament to punch their postseason ticket.
In more college basketball news, Bahamian forward Charles Bain and his Robert Morris Colonials advancing to the NEC championship game and are one win away from securing a trip to the NCAA tournament. The Colonials defeated LIU Brooklyn 86-66 on Saturday to advance to the Northeast Conference Tournament Championship game for the first time since 2015. With the bid, the program has now reached the NEC final a league record nine times. Bain finishing the game with three points and four rebounds in 26 minutes of action. Robert Morris will face St. Francis in the big game. Over in the Sun Belt Conference Tournament, the 2-4-2 also well represented as Rashad Davis and his University of Texas Arlington Mavericks. They would lose at the buzzer to Coastal Carolina, 63-62. Rashad Davis finishing the game with 7 points and 5 rebounds. On the other side, Bahamian Ahmad Harvey is a freshman forward for the Chanticleers, but has played sparingly this season. And that's been a look at your sports on this Sunday. A quick check on weather is up next.